All right, I assume no one's here yet. Just waiting to see if anyone shows up, I suppose. Oh, hi, Gamma. It's nice to see at least somebody showed up. Wait, a, wait until 7, I guess, to see if we can get any other people in here. And then I'll just go for it. I guess we just listen to the music. <coughs> Honestly, I still say you could do commissions. I'd pay for some graphics or something. Your mom's car is still a car and not a robot. Hey, five minutes until go time. I saw that conversation in there. Could be amusing.
Funny enough, I was just looking. Oh. Hi, Daria. Uh, let's see. Four minutes till seven, so. We can hang out for another four minutes. Funny enough, I was just looking at some of the Transformers Magic the Gathering cards, because that is actually a thing that they did at one point. I think it would take more than that, but I wouldn't be averse to watching Transformers. <coughs> Honestly, I'm behind on my TV shows. I still haven't seen Steven Universe, I never finished She-Ra or Ms. Marvel, and I'm sure there are a bunch of others. I wonder if I still have that external hard drive that had all the episodes of the old Mega Man show. I think I had that and the first two seasons of Friendship is Magic. <coughs> Alright, I'll, I'll wait another two minutes and then go for it. I do remember seeing one of the live-action Transformers movies. The one where Ladies' Man got his username from. But that wasn't the first live-action Transformers, was it? Let's do this thing. So, we last left off, off on World 5, which has some Yoshi's Island Overworld music. Specifically, the theme for World 3. Honestly, it strikes me as a bit odd to use just one of the Yoshi's Island map themes and none of the rest, but, I mean, technically it is a Jungle World theme, so... This is a Jungle World. So, let's try World 5-1, Green with Envy. Another music track that I haven't heard before. And a boomerang bro that I immediately got hit by. Dual decks, Mario versus Australians. We have some Patooies. Which I remember actually being pretty tricky in Super Mario Bros. 3, but I think they were also only in one level, as I recall. So are these... Okay, these are not the kind of Venus fire traps that change their angle depending on where you are in relation to them. Honestly, Boomerang Brothers tend to be the most fair of the bro line. It's like, they don't just completely block you from being able to... Congratulations, I hit myself and not the thing I was aiming at. And I should also jump on that shell before it becomes a problem. Already off to a great start, guys. 
Honestly, a 2D platformer is just what I need right now. I recently finished playing Trails to Azure, and... Um, the next game that I'm planning on getting is Trails to Reverie on July 7th, but in the meantime, I need a game to play, and I don't want to start something that'll be long, so, like, I don't want to finish Bug Fables or anything like that. And the park I'm on in Roller Coaster Tycoon is extremely long, so I need something else that'll hold my attention better. I did see some of the scenes from the new Nintendo Direct, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder looks very trippy in the best way. I'm looking forward to that one. Okay, that one's enterable. And it's... Okay, good thing I have the requisite fire flower. See how you like it. I assume Gamma wouldn't be tricky enough to make one of these pipes enterable. I'll, uh... That one bonus in Donkey Kong Country 1, and that one bonus in Donkey Kong Country 2. <clears throat> yeah, see, this is a... What? I can spin jump on that. I mean, I could just shoot him, too. But yeah, after Reverie, the only game I had left for the year that I was planning on getting in the future was Nayuta no Kiseki, or The Legend of Nayuta, Boundless Trails. Which is not technically a main series Trails game, but... Oh, I thought I got hit there. So, yeah, now I have Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and I have the Super Mario RPG remake to look forward to, to a lesser extent. I haven't decided for sure if I'm getting that one, because I already have the original Super Nintendo cartridge, and of course I have ROMs of the game, so I don't really know if I need it, but you never know, they might add some additional comment or content, I mean, or maybe some quality of life features, so... Frankly, Super Mario RPG doesn't need them nearly as much as, like, every other RPG from that era does. Anyway, moving on to Five Ruins, Stone Temple Riot. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, under, uh, underground? Or is it underwater city? Some sort of under-something city from Treasure of the Rudros. Now there's a classic. I remember hearing that in so many levels in Super Mario Omega, I think it was. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I'll take it. Wait, specifically SNES 9X and not the other emulators? That's weird. Oh, you can stand on those. Now, honestly, Super Mario RPG was ahead of its time. Okay, is that an upside down thwomp? Or inverse thwomp? Nice graphics in here, too. I think I've seen the tile set before and probably downloaded it to put in a base ROM, but... I don't remember it being... looking this... vibrant before, maybe? Yeah, Nintendo's weird about copyright. Uh, copyright. I mean, I feel like a lot of people are weird about copyright, and not in a good way. Oh, there is an, a solid object on the other side of that. And I almost forgot that those were standable again. Or rather, I did forget, but reacted quickly enough. Goodbye, Red Koopa. Maverick thwomps. Okay, so what kind of thwomp do you have to beat to get their weakness? More red switch stuff. Honestly, I feel like I haven't used the switch blocks as much as I should in my hack. Oh, that's the end of the level. That one was good. I probably mentioned before that I kind of have a soft spot for ruins levels that also have some other theme, like forest ruins are cool and whatnot. So did that count as 5-2 or is this 5-2? This is 5-2. Okay, bopping toady bog. And we have a transformer to collect. Oh, hey, it's the underground theme from Yoshi's Island DS. And we have frogs. What are these enemies originally from? Or are they com a completely original cre uh, creation? Yeah, Yoshi's Island DS's music was not great. 
Like, the Wildlands theme was good, but pretty much everything else was either lame or just straight up bad. But honestly, this port is inoffensive. Yeah, do not, do not fall in the purple goo of doom. Oh, Super Mario Land 2, huh? I haven't played that game since I did my Let's Play of it, and that's still the only time I've played it, so I do not remember it very well. I remember it being pretty creative, with its world themes and stuff. Those are almost like a less nasty version of the Frog Pirates from Yoshi's Island, which always creeped me out as a kid, and to some extent kind of still do, but... Okay, that one's a fallen platform. Another thing that I could probably stand to do. More graphic swaps of platforms. Well, with the way my sprite set system works, it's not as easy. Because by default, they only support two different graphics files that you can use. Okay, so there's obviously something down there. Star, huh? Heck yeah. In Soviet Russia, I bop the toadies. Wait a minute. Where was the Transformer? I assume it involved the star. I also missed a Yoshi coin somewhere, so I guess we're doing that one again. I suspect the star was not there for no reason, and we probably needed it to get... Yeah, I missed the bot, all right. I'm a bot mister. A bot misser. <clears throat> Again, I'm surprised I didn't get hit. I sent corrected. Don't lick me. I can lick you right back. getting caught by that. I'm sure there's something to the timing. Also, did I ever check that pipe? Okay. Oh. I don't think I went down there before. Well, there's our missing coin. Point get. They don't seem to be able to whoops, lick you while they're in midair, but that doesn't matter, apparently. Go away, Frago. <coughs> oh, wait a minute, there's a transformer. Okay. Well, that confirms my suspicion that you can, in fact, swim in the purple stuff while invincible. Poison? I don't care about poison. I have magic sparkle power. Yeah, I just completely did not even see that, so... Also, I like the um, the atmosphere and theme of that one. I didn't really comment on it before, but like the mist has a nice effect. <coughs> All right, moving on to five three Rhino Rampage, Dino Rhinos, I assume. Gamma V, why didn't you code Rambi for this game? Gosh, what are you even doing with your life? Ah, oh, yeah, Dino Rhinos. One of those enemies that went underused in the original game. 
Like, for it being called Dinosaur Land, those are in, only in, what, two levels? The first two Chocolate Islands? And only a couple of rooms of two. I feel like I've probably comment on that, commented on that before. Alright, now you need to come over here. I think the music is from Super Mario Maker. Like, Super Mario Brothers 1 Forest theme, if I remember correctly? Yeah, I know you don't. I was being a smart aleck. Ah, peaceful cloud bonus room. With rainbows. Perfect for Pride Month. Remember my mom once said, like, I don't have a problem with queer people, but can we have a rainbow back? <laughs> like, uh, sure. We don't have a monopoly on rainbows. I have an itchy face. I do not like having an itchy face. So I'm assuming that since those jumping piranha plants have red stems, that they'll still jump out of the pipe even when I'm on top of it. So let's not test that out. Yeah, allergies are bad. I don't even know what I'm allergic to, but... I feel like it has to be something. Okay. I'm actually gonna get the fifth Yoshi coin first, because we're so close. Like, we're right there. Unless, of course, I missed it. Thought I was standing on the... Okay, so what does that do? It allows me to get the fifth Yoshi coin, alright. Or P-switches were prob- Oh, dang. That was not very good timing for that to run out. Oh, well. Uh. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to be more careful with that P-switch timing. 5A, don't be bugging. Another transformer? Another forest level. And another Super Mario Land enemy. I don't recall ever seeing those purple things before. Okay, the shell collected that. Yeah, that was a case of it not being the intended way, but being more harmful than just doing it the intended way. Kirby's Dreamland 3, huh? I did not know that that actually got coded, huh? I mean, I haven't played enough of Kirby's Dreamland 3 or Kirby in general to have an idea what the original enemy was like, so... Honestly, I need to play more Kirby. I did get Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and that will probably be the next game I play if I don't decide to just make it Trails into Reverie. Of course, I'll have to use the switch as a handheld, because the basement is currently too messy for me to actually... Okay, don't jump on those, got it. The basement is so messy right now, I can't get to my entertainment center, so... Lots of bugs indeed. This is what happens when you leave water standing around for too long. I've heard very good things about the newest Kirby. Oh, okay, there's the bot. So can I actually jump on these? Oh, I can. No, that's how I was, I was supposed to do it, I bet. Can I still get up there? Okay, um, here's another one. Lag. Too many spears. Spears are too powerful. Well... <laughs> Again, it was not the way I was I would have liked to handle it, but it worked. 
And I'm pretty sure the Transformers save after you die, even if you hadn't haven't hit a checkpoint or completed a level, so... Oh, that was almost bad. Doesn't really matter what part of the flagpole I hit, because I don't think you can get one-ups on these, and you can't. Uh, you obviously can't get bonus stars, and there's no actual score on the status bar, which raises the question of why Gamma even kept the, sport, the score sprite graphics around. I feel like I mentioned that before, but why not just use the free space in the first graphics page? Five switch. Switch off steel stronghold. So I think this is the last Switch Palace we have. And we have music from... Um, the Wily Stages of Mega Man 5. That's the one. I don't know if I've actually heard this port before, though. So our gimmick is on and off switches that can turn electricity on or off. Fittingly enough. Oh, no, that's a thwomp. And a very heavy one at that. Yeah, Mega Man music is good. I mean, I tend not to use it very frequently because most of it doesn't tend to fit in Mario, but there are a couple exceptions, like Freeze Man's theme is one that actually works decently. And dang it, I died. Well, haven't had a death in a while. And Shade Man's theme isn't too bad for a Mario level. There are a couple others. R.I.P. indeed. I found a can. Also, I think this is probably one of the most underrated Wily Stage themes in the series. Like, honestly, I like it better than the one from Mega Man 2. Well, yeah, Mega Man 2 technically has two, but you know the one I mean. That's not to say that that one is bad, it's just overrated. I think, I guess, the later NES games probably had underrated soundtracks in general, like Mega Man 4 through 6. Okay, that's the, mecha, the kind of Mecha Koopa that I thought it was. One of Von Fahrenheit's special kinds. What is in these cans? Osmium? We also have another one of his things. I cannot kill the can. Okay. I do not want to get on the can. Honestly, I've considered seeing if I could make my ringtone the title screen theme for Mega Man 3. Oh. That's what we're doing. Okay. And we have some moving bullet build blasters. Yeah, things are getting tricky around here. Now one problem I could see is that you can't tell the regular Mecha Koopas from the ones with rocket boots. Like, I know that Von Fahrenheit didn't make him a different color, but I kind of feel like... did not see that in time. Like, maybe they should be. I'm not actually sure if my phone can do custom ringtones, to be honest. Okay, I think I'm out of the range of that thing. And now we're doing rapid. I need a power-up. Thank you. How often is it that a Switch Palace has two checkpoints? Hmm. I get that fun the funny feeling that there's more to the blue switch than meets the eye, if you know what I mean. I have a Samsung Galaxy A51. Is this a secret boss battle? Oh ho! This one won't go down easily. Well, oh, hello! <laughs> Lightning bolts? And now I can shake the ground. Oh dear. 
Yeah, it's a smartphone. Very well, I admit dis defeat. Do not think that the blue exclamation mark blocks will save you, though. The Kaizokan shall rise again! Ah, the token evil teammate of the Switch Quartet. Yeah, I just haven't really tried. Just like I haven't really tried to see if I can use it as a portable music player. Apparently, I'm old. Well, after that excursion, it's time to fight some rhinos again. Why are they called dino rhinos anyway? They're they're not rhinos. They're 100% dino. Yeah, I know. I think more people are being accept um, accepting of people liking things that are technically for a younger age group. I mean, at the very least, if they're not, you get to a certain point where you're too old. You're old enough that you don't have to care about what other people think. Think other what other people think. Honestly, I'd be fine if I had a phone that had an actual keyboard. Like I've mentioned it before, I don't like touch screens. I don't think they should be, like, the sole input for anything. Like, I can understand them being an option. We need the DS rules here, that's all I'm saying. So, even though I don't need the Silver P-Switch, I might as well get it again. And it is not, in fact, there. Ow. It's not there either, okay? That was risky. There's a silver piece switch. Actually, I should just go this way since I already got the stuff. Extra lives for days! Not to 63. Honestly, part of my problem with a lot of phones is planned obsolescence. Probably the, oh, like, one of the top things that I feel like should be illegal and yet it's not. I feel like that's caused way more harm than downloading Super Mario RPG ROMs, just saying. Also, the fortress is just called Resnor's Fortress, so it's a fortress and we'll have to fight some Resnor. already fighting Resnor, and it's not even time for the boss. Yeah, that sucks. Um, well, best of luck replacing your technology. I haven't played Plants vs. Zombies in a while, actually. That was risky. Definitely wouldn't have made that without the cape. Okay, second room, what do we have here? Auto scroll. I'm, just, I'm telling you, you need a, a laptop, just like not even a fancy one, but a functional one. Honestly, I actually wish that I could get my nephew some sort of computer, like a simple laptop. That would have some sort of parental controls on it. Whoops. Because he really wants to play Copy Kitty, and he's five years from being old enough to have a Steam account. Honestly, there are probably a lot of Transformers games that could potentially be cool. I've never actually played any Transformers video games, but they have to exist, right? <laughs> you stay down. You too. Single block jump up. That could have been bad. And checkpoint. 
All right, so is this just stock vanilla resnor, or is there more to it than that? There's no platform in the middle, I see. Well, to be honest, this is... Whoops. That doesn't really make much of a difference. Well, that was Resnor. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of a fancier, souped-up version of Resnor for my hack, but I think I actually might have made it too hard. So... Well, it's so hard that it can almost be in World 2 of the average hack. World 5-4, Vine Time. A Vine Time indeed. We have climbing spinies. Oh hey, those things! I I forgot that this was actually a sprite that existed. Or actually no, they're a graphic swap of the uh, flying ropes. Clever. Yeah, I don't tend to do graphic swaps of things very often like that, and maybe I should think of it more. I figured it was a play on fine time, but I didn't know if it was a specific reference to stuff or something. Also, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but, but New Super Mario Bros. Wii jungle music. Fittingly enough. Also, New Super Mario Bros. 2 and U, because Nintendo is incredibly lazy. At least with some things. Okay, that's one of that type of spiny. Another sprite that I haven't used yet that I probably should. I mean, I'm just coming up on a world full of athletic levels, basically, so it would fit. Ooh, lag. I was just talking the other day about how I feel like the best way to do it is use SA1 for Super Mario World hacks, but stock Lorom for homebrew. Because I feel like Super Mario World's engine is not especially fast, and all the stuff that Lunar Magic and... Dang, I thought I was out of the range of that. And third-party tools and stuff add to it just makes it even slower. Yeah, I could certainly reference some more songs. I mean, I've done it before. I think I've done, like, a couple oldies and stuff. want to talk about new music. For my sister's birthday party, I had to make a bunch of Taylor Swift themed puzzles. So, I now know more about Taylor Swift than I ever expected to. Yeah, vanilla Super Mario World isn't terrible. Like, the only real laggy areas that I can think of are uh, Yoshi's Island 2 and Vanilla Secret 2, maybe? And I'm not even sure about that was great timing, as you can see. Vanilla Secret 2. But yeah, having to add all the hijacks and stuff. Of course, then there, is this, there are some things that they have no excuse for, like Bank 3 Sprite Handler. Excuse me while I answer this text message. Okay, five house, Boo Block Bungalow. A lot of unnumbered levels in this one. And we have Spiders. Honestly, I feel like the 90s... Hmm. I see. So that's what we're doing. I feel like 90s music isn't old enough to count as oldies, but... I might be biased, also having been born in the 90s. So will we need to use those boo blocks for anything, or can we just let them do their thing? Well, let me guess, that's another one. That one doesn't stand out as well, or that one stands out more than the turn block versions, but... <laughs> tricky, tricky. So do we want to go in there or continue? 
Well, let's see what's up ahead. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, there is indeed a blue, a boo block there. I think this is the first time I've seen that sprite used too. Yeah, true, you were in fact born in the 80s, but fairly close to me. And my family was behind the time on popular stuff, so. Oh, aggressive boo. That boo takes no prisoners. Question is, does it process when off screen? Okay, this stage is psyching me out more than it should. Very mischievous. Okay, that boo is in the way. Now there's a P-switch. I'm guessing... Okay, fake door. So what do I do with the P-switch? I suspect that I will not get all the Yoshi coins in this one. I'm guessing I don't go in this door. And nope, that just led me backward, okay. So what happens if I go in this door since I didn't try it last time? Hmm, is this a new area? Well, so far I haven't seen any Muncher Boo blocks. I suppose those would probably require extra coding because they're an animated tile. Okay. So do I go on this one? I do not go on that one. Well, I still need to see what was over to the right that I missed, so... Exhibit B for Gamma V is better at making ghost houses than me. Wait, wasn't there a block here? Okay, just facing the other way. They would indeed turn into floating munchers. I guess that makes sense for a reason why one wouldn't do such a thing. Oh yeah, it's the extra aggressive boo. Okay, you go away. Okay, so that's a block, a boo. That's a boo, I think. That's a vine. I forget if I've tried going in that door yet, but I haven't seen a boo block that would actually get me in it. Did I try going in this door? I want to hit the block above the door. Okay. Uh. Uh, let's see. Okay, if I just hit this... Hmm. Okay, I see. So if I just hit the P-switch, I could have seen what the intended solution was. Still missing a Yoshi coin, but it's possible that it's in the... it's at the end of the level. I need to get that boo out of the way. And that one can stay where it is, if possible. Oh dang, I'm actually yeep, I'm running out of time here. Okay, so do not hit those blocks. Do hit that block. Ah, it was almost, I almost got got by the spider. And it was the dry bones that got me, well dang. At least I know what to do now. Ghost houses, <laughs> am I right? This is such a silly sprite. Such potential for shenanigans. OK, 
Okay, the middle one is a boo. And I think this door does go somewhere that I want to be. Okay, another P-switch. Haven't figured out what I do with this one yet. So let's just bring it along, I guess. Yeet. Let's see, have I been over there yet? Oh. I figured out what I did with the P-switch and apparently glitched out the... Spot. Wait, what? What the heck happened to that door? I mean, I get it... Uh, whoops. Dang it. Killed by a spider butt. So that was at least two possible ways I could go. Either this stage has a secret exit, which is likely, or one of them has the fifth Yoshi coin, which is also likely. We must check both. Yeah, I'm assuming that since it's a sprite, it interacted with something that it wasn't supposed to. Okay, so we know exactly what to do with this now. I forget, is there a power-up under here? Okay, there is a secret exit. Ooh, that was risky. Okay, let the spider go. And then we go in here. It's a secret to everybody. Well, we found the Yoshi coin. Those two coins are probably not worth it. And booed. Alright, come on. This one's a bit low on power-ups, isn't it? Well, we don't have to worry about Yoshi coins anymore. So let's see, we'll go down there again. Oh, I don't think it's too hard. I'm just getting used to it, that's all. I mean, there's fewer failures than I'd have on the first try in the average Mega Man level. And we'll say one weakness of ghost houses in general, nothing against you, is that it's hard to give them um, checkpoints because of their non-linear nature. It's so, like you almost have to divide them into multiple sections. Which, of course, Vanilla Super Mario World never did. Well, Mega Man is definitely not for everyone. I think I made a terrible mistake. Um, Vine, what are you doing? I don't think that's supposed to happen. So I'm guessing this was the secret exit? Or is that the normal one? I don't remember if secret exits have different flag colors in this game. Okay, I think that was the normal one. So the secret one must be in the other P-switch door. Meaning we can completely skip that section under the turn the uh, used blocks. Probably should have waited for the spider. Okay, get that one out of the way. You can stay right where you are. Oh yeah. The Rip Van Boo. Okay, so that's where our other door is. And I forgot about the spider. Dang it. You are incredibly in the way. I want to 
it's an enemy run. And booed again. Is that what I think it is? Is that a big boo boss battle with the extra angry boos? Also, I just noticed that the block that's a boo uses a different um, animation than the regular ones, or it's a different, it's different timing rather. Proximity trigger on those spiders can sometimes be a bit of a problem. Okay, you get out of my way. And, uh, you get back in my way. What? Hi. I may have made a mistake. Okay, I can't, like, enter this off-center, can I? Nope. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it does seem like it's pretty easy to get that one to a point where, a place where you can't really get in the door anymore. Just gotta move very carefully. That did not look like it should have hit me, but okay. Doing a great job on keeping those power-ups. a boo that I don't want. Thank goodness it doesn't process off screen. And then we need to go up here, and I almost forgot about that. Well, I did forget about the spider again. It was just going faster this time. Get this boo out of the way. That multi-coin block is totally not worth it. Okay. Heck. Dang! I am dying a lot on this one. Ah, the joys of streaming where I can't simply cut out all the parts that I failed on. Okay, let's try to keep our power up this time. I forget if there are any others in the level. Well, it happens, I suppose. a power up it is not ow death by skeleton face that wasn't great well honestly I was hoping we'd have time for at least two worlds tonight but I hope we still do I mean we only have one level left right until it's time for world six This boo out of the way. No, don't you move. And then we just run like heck through here. Dang it. I want the vine. That's not the vine. World well, six is a long one, huh? Ah, I forgot about the dang spider again. You'd think I'd remember having been through this place so many times, but... Well, honestly, I have no idea when my family's supposed to get back, so... Oh, it's not a boss fight. Okay. Interesting take on the enemy battle. So I take it that was the secret exit. Well, I made it out of the ghost house. Still have 62 lives.
And we get to visit Gemma T again, her fourth pit stop. I'm actually not sure what I got in there this time. I just let it pick up whatever while I binge Transformers animated. Is it an elephant mushroom? It is a cape, okay. And onto the castle, Roy Koopa's castle. This is a castle, and it is Roy's one. And we have the spiked question mark blocks from... Uh, New Super Mario Brothers, and some... Turn, uh, some not turn block bridges, but some spike bridges. Also Forest Castle. The... That was a bad idea. Okay, what is... What's the significance of that pipe there? Okay, so you can hit those things. I take it I was probably supposed to come out of that pipe at some point. I assume none of the ones with patooies in them can be entered, because the only way to get rid of the patooie would be to have a power-up. I remember the original version of that sprite being pretty janky. But anyway, second room. And we have more patooies, and it looks like more vines. That was exactly how not to do that. Okay, it can't come out. Okay, it can't come out like that. That is a tricky combination there. Dang it. Did not mean to let go. Okay, we can be patient. And I think I spin jump on that to get that. of those, and another pipe in the ceiling. Okay, we go down here, and we jump off. Lots going on in this castle. Yeah, I figured that was just a coin. Shouldn't have seen what was in it. All right, Roy. Where are you? There you are. Ow. Brilliant. Let's try that again. Huh. Midway. Okay, I thought that would... Well, whatever. I thought that this, that would count as getting spiked, but... So are these the kind that... Okay, they're not the kind that shake the ground. Seems like the thing... And the time to jump on him is either right after he lands, or right after he shoots one of the things. Uh, this is... This is bad. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> okay, also note, do not stay in a corner. We have a second tier power up this time. Oh, Roy actually can be hit with uh, fireballs. And that's one way to, f to defeat him. I don't think I've actually killed any other boss with fireballs. Oh, the darker ones explode. Okay. Well, I guess we never actually got to see that in action. On to World 6. Honestly, I think we can keep going. I'm having fun. 6-1, Sus Shrooms. 
the original sus shroom, Goombas. Okay, that's an... Oh, that was an exploding one. And remix of the athletic theme. Well, I guess technically it's a remix of all the music in Super Mario World, but it seems to be a more mountainy one, maybe? I don't think I've actually heard this one before. Okay, there's a non sus shroom. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so we have a couple of explodey ones. And you can't jump on those. Can I jump on... No, I cannot jump on those either. Okay. Seems a bit sus to me, but whatever. Oh. <laughs> I did not react in time to that. <laughs> Good job. Okay, that one is a bitey one. Hey, wait, how about you go get yourself blown up and get out of my way? And it's not even the shroom that gets me. <laughs> Beware the mountain sus shrooms. Okay. So we want to go down here. Give me my non sus uh, shroom, darn it. I need your shell, sir. Because there are too many shrooms here. Ow. Got too caught up and. That's a bomb. Whoops. <laughs> Speaking of levels that psych me out. Attack is a conspiracy! The shrooms are sus! The blocks are booze! When will it ever end? Okay, I think... Nope, that's the one that had the bomb. And that one should blow up too. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Use the shell to kill the shroom. Except those two, apparently. Okay, let's wait for that one to blow up. Let's wait for that one in general. That Yoshi coin looks risky, risky to get when I'm small. Fortunately, we can lure the sus shrooms into walking off the edge, or hopping, rather. I was right next to the halfway point last time. Go away. Shrooms, shrooms everywhere. Soviet Russia mushroom eats you, indeed. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I need one of these to blow those. Hmm. That did not exactly blow up what I wanted it to blow up. Can I respawn any of them? Oh well. That level is very silly. 
I feel like that's another thing that Gamma is better at doing than I am, is, like, having one gimmick that permeates an entire level and actually making it interesting, like, variable and everything. Anyway, moving on to 6-2. Generation Rex, I think it said? Oh, hey, it's my Wildlands port. Like I said, the one good track in Yoshi's Island DS. Something funny about the scrolling on the uh, that, that layer three cloud background. How do we have ground pounding ones? And now we have sus, uh, sus rexes. are the ones that go extra fast and follow you, right? Fortunately for us, they can't jump. Three normal Rexes, huh? Easy peasy. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more switch blocks in here than I used. Is it too late for me to fix that, I wonder? Still jumping and pounding even after being squished. Now that's determination for you. Hey, you. I want to... Ow. Squish your face. It did not like having its face squished. Okay, coin number five, get... Ow. Okay, we must be close to the end now. Uh-oh, now they have the low ground. I still kind of miss getting power-ups at the goal with shells. Another good level? I don't think anyone likes having their faces squished or torn off or otherwise abused. So probably not. Oh, that one, that one had a secret exit. Oh, from the coins, okay. Well, I mean, I didn't suck as much at this one as I did at the World 5 Ghost House, so... Seems like I've seen, like, at least two or three people have uh, make different variants of that flagpole sprite. Okay, this time let's just shoot everything. Well, again, the Rex did not like that idea. I missed one of the Yoshi coins last time, so... Die. I think one of these was enterable. Maybe? Maybe not. I feel like the tough part with the Yoshi coin secrets is that you can't die after the midway point. Okay, now can we shoot everything? Wait, wasn't there a Yoshi coin there before? Well, I hope I didn't screw myself out of it. Uh, yeah, that's... Oh, there is an enterable pipe that I missed? Hmm. I don't think I tried that one. And I already tried all three of those. Spawning, so. Wait, did I actually get the secret exit already? Hmm. Well, oh, wait a minute. If I got them all last time.
Hmm. Okay, I did get all the coins. And somehow missed the secret exit? The heck? Oh, is it one of those where the coins don't spawn the key or anything, but just open up a passage? Okay, I don't think I tried any of these pipes late in the level. And there's a regular exit, so... Okay. The yellow ones, you say. Alright. Okay, there we go. Got it. Thanks for the tips. Cute overworld event. 6-5. Well, I mean, that's a numbered level, so we'll come back to it. 6-3. You can make me mole again. Presumably another song reference that I'm not familiar with. Quite an arm on that one, huh? This music is another track that... That was terrible timing. That I've definitely heard before, but can't remember what it's from. Curly's Adventure, okay. Oops, <laughs> was not looking at the screen. I almost feel like Kirby music has the opposite problem from something like Final Fantasy or even Donkey Kong Country, where it's a little bit too cheery sounding for Mario on average. But still, it fits better than something like, oh, you had a bomb, okay. Whoops. Whatever I did there, it was incorrect. I have some cutoffness with these pipes on the edges of platforms like that, but honestly, I'm not that picky about that. Ah, oh, dang it. One mole of uranium atoms. I should use that definition in the level at some point. And that's the end. <laughs> All right, moving on to six four Alpha Bravo Charlie. Chuck-based level, I take it. <laughs> Honestly, is it really possible to hack a 2D platformer from 1991 and not be a nerd? Go back to where you came from and take your phonetic alphabet with you. No boink for you. Yeah, or collect transform transformers when almost 40, but... Like I said, at a certain point... It's just not worth it to care what other people think. It's a lesson that I've been trying to learn for myself lately. Oh, the Koopa's res Koopa responded and I was not paying attention. If I remember correctly, the music is DK Pass from one of the Mario Kart games that I haven't played. I think Mario Kart DS. 
Oh, footballs. Football chucks, one of the most abused enemies in hacks, along with pitch and chucks and volcano lotuses. I didn't realize until I checked how few punt and chucks were actually in vanilla Super Mario World. There's one in the secret exit room of Yoshi's Island 2. Oh heck, there's another one. Two in Tubular and one at each of the end rooms in um, Vanilla Secret 1. And all the rest are in the first room of Chocolate Secret. More footballs! Enough with the footballs! So many chucks! Who brought the entire football team to the mountains? Is that a... Okay, that's a bouncing one. Ah, yes, the best sport. Boing! Ah. Didn't do that right. I'm actually a bit impressed that she managed to get the uh, Sprites on Platforms patch working without SA1, especially in a level that's full of chucks. I guess the key is not to have very many platform uh, platforms on screen at once. Well, <laughs> goodbye, chucks. Okay, now we can move on to 6-5, New Jack Fling. Not New Jack Swing, but... Double Cherry Pass with a custom sample, it sounds like. And Flingy Blocks, or something. I forget if I've ever used... Well, I've never used those, but I forget exactly which sprite or... Block or whatever those are. So what do the red ones do? Do those only work for sprites, maybe? What happens if we... Okay, yeah. Whoops! That is not how you do that. Alright, mulligan. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Also, that was a, humiliati a humiliating death. So I need to remember that the timing for when Mario jumps on them isn't the same as the timing for when the sprite jumps on it. Super Mario, Super Mario 3D World's music was good. Like, that probably has my favorite soundtrack of any Nintendo game. I'm sure Super Mario Galaxies is good, too, just... I guess I haven't really played enough of it to have the same opinion. Whoop! Goomba from above. And that is not what I meant to do there. And neither is that. Whoops! So aiming for the Goomba did not, in fact, land on the Goomba. We can manage. Honestly, I don't mind a little challenge in my platformers. I just think most hackers take it way too far. And it feels fair, you know? Like, even in a lot of official games, there are some levels that are just hard for all the wrong reasons. True, it's not Kaizo, that's always a plus. 
totally missed that. Yeah, that part's a little tricky because you kind of can't jump on the platforms while the Koopas are on them. Okay, that's the proper timing for that. There we go. That's how you do that. Whoop. Did not see that Koopa in time. Suffered for it. But we hit the midway point. I feel like timing is like one of the most important things to get used to in video games. That and pattern recognition, I would say, are the top two. Okay, no way are you getting that without a cape. Fortunately, I have a cape. Alright, we're almost out. Oh, that could have been bad without a cape. Well, we made it. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country does seem to have a lot of timing puzzles, like with the barrel, uh, barrels and stuff. Well, maybe not puzzles so much, but... My biggest problem with that series always has been, and it'll probably always will be, the secret levels. Six House, Bupak Shakura's Mansion, another cultural reference that I'm not familiar with. How do you want it? Uh, I choose door number one. I want it left. I should not have gotten hit by that. Now, I'm doing great, as you can see. Super Mario Bros. 346 reference, eh? I'm down for that. Yep. Get me out of here. How do you feel? I guess this time we'll pick door number two. Actually, is there any difference in... Okay, there's no difference in scenery. I feel right. I feel all right. It's enemies, huh? Oop. So now I feel like I have to play this one twice just to see what the difference between the different doors is. Even though it probably shouldn't, because I'm taking a lot of hits here. I mean, at least it's a lot quicker than the last ghost house. It's probably not too much of a big deal to do it twice. I do kind of feel like well, it's thug life. I thought it was this life. <laughs> Too much stuff homing in on me. And the one door there is. It's not a big boo boss. It's a medium-sized boo boss. I suppose I... well, should I do it twice? What do you guys think? Do you want to see the other doors? I think for now we're probably good to head onward, but... 6-6, six, six, minor inconvenience. Mine puns, almost as easy to make as ice puns. Hey, we have this platform type. Digging chucks. 
That is not where I meant to jump. Good job. Yeah, I figured with the way it was laid out, there probably wasn't a secret exit, but I thought we could, exp we could see the other route. I think part of what's throwing me off is that I have the emulator window directly in front of the OBS window, so it's like I'm seeing double. Ah, oh, it's a stationary, amazing flying hammer, bro. It's an amazing sitting hammer, brother. Relatable. change halfway through. Odd choice, but okay. Whoop. And we have falling rocks. Also, that was the wrong part of the chalk to land on. I quite feel like getting those two coins. Hmm. I'll take you out from a safe distance. I never actually tried luring enemies in Mario games nor scrolling them off screen before I played Mega Man. I don't know what it is, like, maybe their placement of yourself and enemies is more important than paying attention to their AI. 6-7, Mega Mole Rising. And we have another Transformer. For this music track too, and if I remember correctly, it's an original composition. If I had to guess, I'd, ow! If I had to guess, I'd say that level name is a play on Megatron Rising, but that's just a guess. I assume it's a reference to something. Double the Transformers for double the fun. Super Evil Robot Megatron! Okay, three out of five Yoshi coins. And halfway point, get. Yep. I was trying to both dodge and go under the mole, only succeeded in doing neither. Such mole. Wow. And another bonus room. It's been a while since we've seen two in the same level. P-switch. Well, we found our bot. Just call me the Bot Master. Okay, what did we miss? Not a lot. Excuse me, sir, but I need your head. Was that little mole riding on the big mole for a little bit? 
I mean, I guess it makes sense since the Mega Moles do technically count to, technically count as platforms. We heard you like moles, so we're gonna put a mole on your mole, and we'll be very pleased to meet it. Six fortress, Molegatron's fortress. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll hail Megatron. Well, this should be a transformative experience. And amps are back. Peace through tyranny! Ow. And war through blue Koopas kicking shells at me. guns. Who gave the bullet bills incendiary rounds? Thwomps don't fall up! They're really more like giant thwimps. Yeah, yeah, I'll hail Megatron, peace through tyranny. I can't take any mole. This is mole than I can handle. Ow. That was a going down pipe sound effect. Unfortunately, that's not the purpose it was used for in that particular instance. Could be a problem. Damage hit and damage tank. Wait, what's the purpose of that? It. Probably not supposed to just walk right through the moles. And I think that's where the other coin was. Robot and roll, uh, moles that shoot fireballs when they do stuff. I will walk toward you angrily, but rather slowly. cosplaying as Megatron. I mean, the name is apt. And now we find out that World 6 is so big that it requires two sub-maps. 6-8, you're making me high. And it's a vertical level. You know, I can't think of any vertical athletic levels in the 8 and 16-bit Mario games. I seem to recall these clouds being in, another, in an earlier level and me not being able to quite get the hang of the timing on them. Case in point. If that's not required and... Actually, I guess if I can just get away with holding B.
Maybe I need to be less picky with my music choices. Like, as far as what counts as fitting for a Mario hack. Yeah, just holding the B button seems to work just fine. I don't need to time it perfectly or anything. Huh, I never even heard of Tony Braxton. I feel like this isn't really the best time for the... Um, vanilla cloud background. Since it doesn't loop vertically. Honestly, if I can just stick to a consistent set of samples, I think that would be fine. Like, probably the ones from Super Mario All-Stars, which are mostly the same as Super Mario Worlds, or Yoshi's Island or Super Mario RPG, or a combination thereof. high, but bouncy. Eee. I didn't hit, hit the top of the flagpole, but that literally does not matter in the slightest. Yeah, I've had that problem with my Let's Play video titles, not reusing the same title for related things. 6-9, Balloonacy! And we have another Transformer to get. The stationary balloons will pop as soon as you jump off of them. Okay. Having a cape would make this level much easier, which is exactly why... We shouldn't take it. And we have these balloon glider things. Uh, that was a mistake. Back, up, back to 65 lives. I think this time we probably just want to jump directly off the glider. Okay, that one has three, so that goes up. And we have Baron Von Zeppelins. And a bunch of ninjas. Up. That is a Koopa. There's an invisible ceiling there. And that is a halfway point. Hmm. Did this one have a secret exit? Because that looks like something up there. Besides coins. Well, I guess I'll check once I get to the overworld map. Speaking of making me high... I don't know what I was trying to do there, but clearly it failed. Ow. 
Not sure if I should be checking the pipes here or not. I said, I don't remember if this one has a secret exit or not, but... I definitely missed something over there. Ow. I noticed that just running across the balloons doesn't seem to pop them. Middle yellow pipe. Oh well. Oh, actually, that one had the transformer, so I do have to do it again. Okay, no secret exit, but yes, robot. Let's fix that. No bot left behind. No. Okay, I should not have tried to go under that. Speedrun time, of sorts. Also, try to get all the Yoshi coins this time. So in this room, there should be a cloud platform over here that I can get on top of. Yeah, I figured there is probably a character in the show that would say something like that. Oh, wait a minute. Those are, those are yellow pipes, weren't they? Uh, no, but there are only two of them, so there was no middle one. Moving on. Invading my personal space. Okay, just continuing through the level. And there are the three yellow pipes that we need. The tricky part is timing this in such a way that the piranha plant won't come out on me. Never mind. Who needs proper timing? Well, there's the bot anyway. And the fifth Yoshi coin. Well, at least it was pretty quick to get through a second time. Unless, of course, I screw up these single tile jumps at the end. Moving on for real this time to 610, Rainbow Road Rage. The Stunticons have nothing on these crazy Koopa Carters. They won't hesitate to run you off the road or even blow you to bits. Ow, okay, you can't just jump on them to get rid of them. Well, we shall see who runs whom off the road, because I'm pretty sure I have more maneuverability. Goodbye. Oh, they're bullies. Huh. Makes sense. Reckless driving can be bad for you. Ow. Okay, those are the exploding ones. I forget if I've heard this particular port of the Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Road from Super Mario 64 theme. Because I know I've, there's a different one that I've had. 
I don't think it's this one. Uh, you just go wander off there. Go do your own thing. Oh. I do not want to blow up. Ow. Vehicular homicide. No bully. And shells do nothing to them. Ow. <laughs> Apparently nobody informed them that this was a pedestrian zone. And they almost forgot that there's another blue Koopa. Okay, I think there's another car over here, yes. Ah, dang it. That was kind of a gotcha. <laughs> well, if I can entertain, then I fulfilled my minimum duty here. Okay, but what if this level happened after 6-8? Somebody made the Koopas high, and then they decided to drive like maniacs. Okay, car? Car. Cars die. Okay, halfway point. Also, I just got the pun in the level name. It's a portmanteau of Rainbow Road and Road Rage, of course. Makes sense. Also, dang, time limit's not very long on this one, is it? I spent so much time um, trying to get the cars to drive off cliffs. Those two coins are not worth the time penalty. Yeah, that does make sense. Alright, plenty of time left. I wonder if it's possible to die if you hit the goal point when the time is like 2 or 1 because it keeps ticking down for a while, for a while when you slide down the pole. I hope not, but I haven't had any occasion where it would matter. 6-11, I believe I can fly. Oh, hey. Flying Yoshi. Oh, the room always starts with the timer of 100. Okay, that makes sense. To be honest, I use timers so infrequently in Super Mario World hacks that I tend to forget the Lunar Magic actually has an option to make the timer start at a certain number at the beginning of a sub-level. And since I have Yoshi, I can just eat everything. Except apparently those... Oh. Rip. You know, if this level is what I think it is, I might have to change one of mine, because I think it has pretty much the same idea. I'm guessing this is basically tubular done right. I.e., with the power up, that's not obnoxiously hard to control. So, can I just not eat? Okay, I can eat those. Well, I don't know what's in that block, but I guess we'll never know. 
Oh, okay. I still have Yoshi. Good. This music sounds like something from Secret of Mana, but... I'm not sure. Okay, we eat that. We attempt... Apparently fart on that. Okay, good. And we found the secret exit. Another gem and tea pit stop. What you got for us? Arc Bad Bloody. Do you know how much that cost? <laughs> There's a feather in the box for you, Mario. Actually, I think I already had a feather in the box. I should have dropped it first. Also, nice to have a Bloody reference. Honestly, those things are cute enough that I feel like they should show up more in fan content. Okay, now I can just focus on getting to the end. I don't think this one had a transformer. And I almost hit myself with my own shell, and it's a good thing we did check what was in that block. Correctly, that pipe was where the secret exit is. So we don't need to go down it this time. Well, that's what that's referencing. Okay, four corns. Hmm, I haven't seen a midway point. Possible that this level is short enough that it doesn't need one that badly, but that's still a little bit worrisome. Need the patui. See, I keep thinking one of the crap, and we were close to the end. Also, I'm pretty sure the tiling is messed up on that arch that I died by. Like it looks like it has background when it's not supposed to. Okay, can we do it this time? I know where all the Yoshi coins are. And I know that none of them involve eating patooies. That doesn't mean we'll eat the we won't eat the patooies anyway. Here Yoshi, have some salad. Evil salad. I don't want to risk hitting those blocks. I don't really care that badly what's in them because I have the ultimate power-up. But I don't want to risk just flat-out dying. Tried to lick Piranha Plant. Seemingly farted on Piranha Plant. It was not very effective. Okay, I almost forgot about that one. Actually, I did forget about that one. I just happened to hit that block. Okay, eat the delicious piranha plant. Eat the delicious Koopa. Burn everything. Yeah, that entire art is kind of wonky. And we now have a Yoshi. At least we have to get off the Yoshi, I guess. Alright, we finally made it to the castle. A long world indeed. Larry's Koopa, Larry Koopa's castle. Yes, Larry's Koopa castle. And we have para dry bones. I think the highest numbered level in any official Mario game was 610 from Super Mario Bros. 3. 
And the only game I can think of that actually had a higher number for anything was Copy Kitty, which I think went up to 12 or 13 or so on a couple of worlds. Of course, I also don't think I'd ever seen a world numbered 11 or 12 either, or world numbered. Leonard's castle has clouds and skeletons. And fire bars. It's a castle. Hmm. I don't feel like that should have hit me, but... Go ahead and keep the cape. A platform? Who needs that? Hmm. Flashing clouds. Okay, that makes sense. I figured we'd be dealing with some sort of thunderstorm type of gimmick here. Sumer Brothers. Haven't seen those in a while. And we have lightning dropping pipes. Fitting enough for a sky castle. And there's Larry. Oh, that's interesting. Ow. That's painful. still another newbie boss, but you know, necessity is the mother in of invention and all that. Alright, that was indeed a long world, and next time, well, we'll get a quick preview of world 7, I suppose. It's the ice world, okay. Well, I think this is a good stopping point. I feel like we've made a lot of progress. So, Thanks, everyone who could come tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I will see you whenever I do this again. So, have a good night. Just go ahead and make a save state here or two. And there we go.